which is an exercise in extemporaneous speaking. I've come up with some, what do I say? Little triggers for you to tell a story from. So I will read one of my lead-ins to a story and call upon somebody to come in and give us their thoughts or tell us a story about this topic all having to do with the hot weather. That's the first one. And I will call on somebody randomly. Not so randomly. First one. Hot? You think this is hot? Let me tell you what hot is. Joe, would you like to take this one? <laughs> Hot. Damn hot. <laughs> Some of you may remember that last year I went paragliding, fancy that, and I was thinking about it recently, reliving that moment of flying off the top of Chelan Butte with that much water in my backpack just in case, and invariably landing in a very remote location in dead coyote flats of all names. <laughs> Having a safe landing, thankfully, because no one wants to land out in the middle of nowhere by yourself and have a broken leg or back on a 105 degree day. And then packing up my gear quickly so my friends uh, would know that I was safe because an open glider on the ground means that you're not capable of packing up, you know, sending the uh, helicopters. And putting on a 50 pound bag and walking along a dusty road for two or three miles in a hundred degree plus temperature. It was not my idea of a good time. I did manage to pace myself. That was one thing I did right. Kept the hat on, sips of water, had some hard candy, and just kind of got really mechanical. So if you ever find yourself in a position where you are rightfully worried about your own safety, just break it down into pieces, control what you can control, by moving slower, you're actually going to get there faster because you're not going to spend that extra unnecessary energy. Thanks for asking. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. 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 Th